Damn. Okay. Okay, first we're gonna exit to call there. Oh, thanks, chat. <laughs> yeah, Maduck, that will definitely be that would that would be one of my biggest suggestions to the devs. Is is please please consider fully voice acting your dialogue. I, I don't know why, but it's like almost triggering that only half of the dialogue is voice acted. Honestly, I'd almost prefer there was no voice acting. I don't know why, and I know that sounds weird, but it's very weird to have only half the lines be voice acted. Because you like never really know when to like stop listening and start reading. Then you have to like find where it is and it's just, it's a very strange decision. At first I thought maybe it was, you know, due to resource limitations of the base game, but then the DLC did the same thing. And now the second DLC does the same thing. So it's just like, you're doing this by choice. You can't fool me. This is a choice. <laughs> you're not doing this because you're out of, out of money. <laughs> Just turn the voices off. I actually think we did turn the voices off in our first round, didn't we? I think we did. Yeah. No, I think you can turn the volume to zero, but I mean, sometimes the, like rarely the lines are fully voice acted and they're great when they are, like it, it works fine. Oh, one of the doors is open. This guy's gonna kill me just going in. Please don't kill me just going in. Oh my God, that yeah, we're doing it. Oh my god. Just loot everything before we die. Oh god. Oh god. Ah! Get the girl. Get whatever this is. Oh no! What is that thing? Oh good. We're still in the arc. Perfect. The greed, dude. The greed is so real. Are we up top still? No, they put us at the bottom. What a bunch of roots. Let's see. Making a lot of money this run. Okay. So it looks like there may be some kind of special weapon there. We're going to grab that weapon and then GT fluff out. Yeah, I think I think that's our plan right now. Then go back to our town and get all ready to go and take that gin. Are there any downsides to dying? Yes, the downsides to dying are threefold. If you're playing hardcore, it can permanently delete your save. As in, your adventure is done. That's the big thing. So if you really want a brutal experience, uh, play this game on hardcore. Good luck. Um, the second downside is that you get a lot of burn, your equipment rots, and um, you lose any active buffs on you. So it's kind of like a, a, a big pushback for your character. And the third big downside is there are times when you may be deep in a dungeon, and when you die, you you kind of it's kind of an RNG event when you die. Like lots of different things can happen. And every so often what'll happen is you'll like be at the bottom of a dungeon, you'll die to the boss, and then sometimes Get may save you and drag your ass to literally the other end of the map. So sometimes it can be a, a pretty big hit to the balls in terms of like travel time and, and getting set back up. Um, also, almost all maps have unique encounters that can happen when you die. So on the Soroborians, you can be captured and um, Oh no. I was out of stamina. Uh, yeah, get kept. Um, on the Soroborians DLC, you can be captured by bandits. On the Chersonese region, you can be captured and be forced to work in a mine as a slave. Um, there's lots of different things that can happen. So, yeah. So see right here, we were in the Ark. And now we got out of the arc and the ship has left. So now I can't get that weapon anymore. In fact, it looks like not only did the ship move, but the ship dropped us off somewhere else. I don't even know where we are. Uh, we are north. So now we're up here. We're up here. So we were over here and now we died and we were put up here. So that sucks. So yeah, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. 
So dying can really suck. Yeah, it can. Fortunately, like, it would have been nice to get that weapon that was there, but we don't really need it because um, it's not the weapon I use, so it's not really a big deal. But if that had been, like, the weapon that I'm using right now, that would have really, really sucked. Because that ship moves around the map. That ship doesn't stay in one place. And only if the ship is docked at that one location can we get to the area where that weapon is. So, yeah. Pretty wild. Mm, 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 mm. We got a lot of good stuff here. Thankfully, I am not exactly super bummed right now because we've got many good things right now. We're going to get back to our base. We're going to sell and then we're going to get that gin. We've already cleared out the oil refinery, so I'm pretty sure we can go almost straight to where the gin is, which will be nice. Normally, you'd have to not only clear out a level, but you'd have to clear out a level, go into another one, fight your way through that level, get keys, unlock areas, turn a bunch of levers, and then, like, it's it's pretty uh, involved. Yeah. And we don't have to do any of that, because we already did it. Pretty cool. How hard is it to repair damaged equipment? Uh, not too hard. It's, it's part of the resting mechanic. So whenever you rest, you can guard, sleep, or repair. And we also have perks to make repairing more, uh, or go, go faster. So what you essentially do is if you're in a town, you don't need to worry about guarding. So you can just sleep and get all your mana and uh, stamina and health burn off. And then you can repair for, for however long you need to, to get all your equipment set. It only does repair equipped equipment. So if you're like me, where I usually carry around, I used to usually carry around two sets and I'll probably bring out the armor for the Jin fight. Um, if you're like me and you have, you know, multiple sets, you need to, like, equip that, sleep, repair it, and then put on your other gear and then repair that as well. Uh, you can also repair fishing spears and mining picks the same way, which you lose a little bit of durability every time you use them. But if you're out in the wild, you also have to guard, and every hour you guard, every hour you repair or sleep raises the chance of your rest being interrupted by enemies. So you also need to up your guard, which then passes time, your food rots more, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Yes, you can also pay 50 silver to a blacksmith to repair everything. That's a good point, too. Yep, yep, yep. And that way, none of your, your stuff uh, rots or anything. Is there fast travel in the game? Not really. There is a form of fast travel where a, a merchant character will offer to take you places, but if you're not in a city called Harmaton, he only takes you there. And if you are in a city called Harmaton, it's random where he takes you. So it's, it is fast travel, but it's not really great fast travel. Yeah. When will the Cyberpunk stream return? Um, pretty much when I'm done with this DLC, I think mostly. Yeah. Which could be, I mean, I'm going to be going all day tomorrow as well. So I don't know how much of this DLC is left, but... I do want to, like, fully build our town and everything. Do I think I'll finish this today? No, no. I I'm going to play it during the cozy stream as well, though, so we'll make more progress, but... Um, I, I don't know how long the main story and stuff is. Uh, I mean, moving the Emberheart to the city could be the last step, or could be the middle, or a third. Like, I, I have no idea. I don't know. Mm, 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 mm. Would you recommend... Um, I'm watching your EFT playlist on YouTube right now. Would you recommend that game to a shooter noob? Sure, if you like a whole bunch of loot and are willing to learn. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey, Ragnaroz. Thanks, buddy. Good to see you, dude. I didn't know you streamed Ragnaroz. That's awesome. What's that emote of? Is that a little... Is that a little flame? It's adorable. I like it. Hey, Wild Hunt. Good to see you, buddy. Hey, Wild Hunt. Okay. Can I help you? 
Let's see. You absolutely can help me, sir. Tell all you. Beautiful. What is EFT? EFT is Escape from Tarkov. Yep. I was well, streaming this game something. too, so I figured I'd bring people over. Well, thanks, Ragnaroz. Awesome, man. What uh, what build are you running? Out of curiosity. Man, this stuff sells well. Oh, man. That is hot. The hotness. Okay. There we go. Why return to Cyberpunk? Yep, in the cozy streams. We're going to finish up the 100%. Mm -hmm. My first playthrough, so I have no idea. I've only Can picked up Spellblade so far. Cool, man. Hell yeah. Solid start. Ooh, I'll buy those. And those. And those. And then. And then. And then. Oh my god. This is so good. Um... Okay. Jerky. <laughs> I love having this store here. Awesome. Let's cook some stuff too. EFT is Escape from Tarkov. Yep. Mm -hmm. Very fun looter shooter. One of the most realistic looter shooters out there. Make some meat stew. Vagabonds. Tartan. Tartan. Mm. Okay. Man. Oh. What is it? Oh, man. I thought that was going to be a stash. <gasps> that would have been so nice. That would have been so nice. Dead21 says, how are you always so positive? Have you seen this community? They make it very easy. They do. Mm -mm. Uh, let's put this here. Oh, I didn't make the pots. And I probably should put that away for now. Put that away for now. Put the nanners away for now. Put that away for now. Do, 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 do. do we know all this? We do. We're starting to get to the point where we know like almost everything. Is great. We're gonna bring those out and make stuff with them. Idosaur stuff. How how does that stuff even get out here? Okay, we have most of that. We always keep a little bit on us. Just in case. Uh we need at least. Julia says, but Co, our community only has six members. That's true. But you know, it's it's quality over quantity, Julia. It's quality over quantity. Want to buy something? I, I love our six members. I do. They're good people. It's true. Mm, 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 mm. How's this game as a solo play? That's the only way I play it, bud. Works just fine. I thoroughly enjoy it as a solo player. She. Um. Put this up here. I wonder what is a Jin. A Jin's like fire, right? Fire and oil. So I should be good against him. One would think. Maybe. Um. A couple of these. A couple of these. Our armor. Uh, oh, wait, we got those. Couple of these. I'm busting out the special reserve right now. Couple fire things. I've been waiting for this moment, chat. I've been waiting for this moment. Uh, how many greasy teas do we have? 
four. Let's bring six. So if we die, we can like actually get the burn off. Because we'll probably die, to be honest. Do we have any alpha meat? No, let's bring a couple alphas. And what do we need to make that maze stuff? It was, I think it was something beside this. Let's see, it was, it was the maze and just water. No, there is something else. Oh, it's tor crab eggs. Can you sell those? Can I help you? Uh, couple. Hmm. I need to get more of those big time. And it's like two tor crab eggs a piece. 17, that's good. I don't think I'm really using them for anything else, so. Hmm. Okay, that's a few. Mm. All right. Put away like 16 of them. Put that in there too. Put the bread in there. All right, dudes. I think we're gonna make this happen. All right, let's go get some rest here. And then we're gonna go take this gin. We're gonna rest up here to get the stamina bonus. Eiko, I have 69,000 good vibe points. Nice. So there you are. So, wonderful news. Thank you. Well, let's get to work. Good talk. All right, so it does our yeah, this thing's all, like, busted up completely. I think five, six should repair, like, all of it. Let's see. Make sulfur potion with water, sulfuric mushroom, and a beetle on the alchemy station. A sulfur potion. Let's check that out. <sighs> That's weird that we haven't found a single sulfur potion out there. Maybe it's not in the loot table. All right, did that fix everything all the way up? Oh, it didn't. So six hours does not fix from broken. Seven hours is what we need. Okay. Uh, Yo, my backpack's making a break for it. Ah! Did you get that? It should be fine. Okay. It should be okay. I think this will be okay. Oh, God. We have a little bit of health burn, but I can just burn that off real quick. There we go. Perfect. Let's go on a light regen. Eat some stamina toast. Oh, I do, Nuri. Thank you. Thank you, chat. Thank you. Really appreciate y'all keeping me on top of my water intake. It helps. Thank you, chat. A challenge to you is whenever you see me drink water, try to drink some yourself. Make it happen, chat. I believe in you. Stay hydrated. Mm. Okay, so I need a green beetle. And a sulfuric mushroom. What do those look like? I know I've harvested a bunch of them. And then just water. Drink your beer every time Co drinks water. Hey, sure, you do you. Oh yeah. Oh, these potions. Yeah, yeah, I know about those potions. Okay. I didn't know the recipe, but I have seen those more than a few times.
All right, guys. Let's go punch this Dajin in the face. Dajin. Speedy boy. I frequently thought about what this game would be like if it had a like a town portal scroll system like from Diablo. I wonder if that would I wonder if that would help. You would spend significantly less time running in empty environments and you'd still have to explore everywhere at least the first time and kind of to look around things. But I do I do wonder if like a a town portal system would be good for this game. I think it could work. What about mounts? Well, mounts would be good, but it wouldn't really address the problem of running through the empty area. You know what I mean? You'd still, I mean, you'd be running a lot faster. And also I gotta say this, like sometimes it's really dangerous to move through areas. And I feel like a mount would completely remove the danger. And I don't, I don't like that. I think it should be dangerous to move around in this game. I mean, granted, you know, I'm in I'm in late game and super fast, so it doesn't matter for me. But early game, like it's it's tense to move around, and I like that. I, I like the fact that it's not easy at the beginning at all to get around the map. So I feel like mounts would kind of ruin that feel. Unless, of course, like a mount was a late game item. You know, that, that, that could be something. Yeah, Zozim SC. That's the, that, in my opinion, that's the worst part of this game. The, the world maps just feel empty. Like uh, we've talked about a few times. I hope, first of all, I hope they make Outward 2 because they, they knocked this game out of the park and I think they could do a great job with an Outward 2. Um, but if they make an Outward 2, I'd love to see like a list of like 50 random events that could happen on a map. Like... You know, uh, bandits fighting fighting a caravan, caravans moving between cities, um, big special rare monsters that would spawn, like all sorts of just random events. And then every time you zone into a map, it picks like 10 of them and just drops them on there, you know? Um, I think that would be so cool. So freaking cool. And it would make it feel alive and it'd make it feel kind of like you know, if there was a lot of different things, then, oh God, um, you know, make it interesting. Every time you'd, you'd go on a map, you'd want to kind of like look around and see what, see what's there. And I think it could be really cool. Boop. Oh, this is all that's here. Oh my, I thought it connected the areas. I've made a huge mistake. Okay. Um, I definitely thought that that connected the areas. It doesn't, by the way. <laughs> In case anyone was wondering, it doesn't. Um, can I get down here? No, I can't. All right, so we have to go in the outflow pipe to get to the Dijin. Dijin. Unless maybe this way?
Oh, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This might work. Kind of flying blind here. I'm I'm trying to remember where we need to go. I think it's actually back into the right. Yeah, this is where we 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 came in there. We flicked that switch, that drained the oil in the next section on the right, and then we took that down. And then to the right there was a gate, and we went through that gate, and the djinn is in there. The djinn. So we go this way, and now there should be a gate. Somewhere up here on the right. There. Cool. 